Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day two, the second uh, uh, day of October. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord on the uh, Lico Daily Challenge. Let's see. No contest ring. Okay, fine. Uh, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Also, just to kind of, you know, I, I know that one thing that I focus on, but I haven't done it enough lately just because I've been traveling on that stuff is to celebrate victories. And I guess I finished 33rd earlier today. So that was a that was kind of nice to kind of fin um I feel like it's been a while since I finished this high or something like that. And and I kind of had a silly mistake that otherwise would have put me in 10th place or something. So that's a little bit sad, but that's still a, a, a good outing. So hopefully, you know, I carried that to um, to today as well. So yeah, anyway, let's get started on today's problem, day two. <clears throat> Number of dice rolls with target sum. It seems like we're doing dynamic programming these days. So let's take a look. You give an end dice and each die has k faces okay what is n and k n and k is dirty so that means that it's gonna be small enough i was also going to say whether we should mod because with combinatoric numbers uh, or problems is very often that you need to mod so the first thing that i do is i actually say the mod song uh mod 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 so then yeah so then i do this can i still turn it off nope still cannot turn it off what is this bolt button oh show hints now it's okay uh okay yeah, and then here, there are a couple of ways you can do it, really. Um, I'm going to do it with... Wait, what's the target? Target is a thousand. Um, <laughs> 30, what is it, 900 times a thousand should be okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess so. Uh, the way that I would maybe... I, I'm just thinking about whether I should do it recursively or um top you know top downs or bottoms up this is clearly a dynamic programming problem so yeah so um, yeah let's do it tops down why not that's so then we just go count we have a count thing what what, what are you doing right we have oh all the ends are the same okay okay i think that for, for half a second i thought it would, they may be different so yeah so you have n dice is left or left dice is left and target left maybe that's what we'll, we'll cash on and here if left is equal to zero uh okay i'm just trying to see whether okay so it's one to k so there's no zero so yeah if k is left is zero zero if target is equal to zero we return one because that's one way of doing it else we return zero and then also if target is less than zero we return zero because that means that you know that means we're done because left can only go or like if you have dices left it can only subtract from target at least that's the way we're structuring it so maybe i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself so yeah so then race is just equal to zero and then we count it the way to do it is just brute force the k right so one from k inclusive so then now it's just raised at count of left minus one and then target minus k or uh, minus i sorry and of course you can if you if you do this problem enough you'll notice that you know you could construct a, the 2d uh, bottoms up from that just from experience but that's basically the idea and of course we want to mod because modding keeps us friendly so yeah so that's pretty much it really to be honest uh i mean well ex except for the memorization part oops but that the ooh. The core idea should be that, unless I have a typo, which happens a lot. This may time out though, actually, because we haven't done the memorization part. So, and it should be time out. So, um, so yeah, so that part is good. So let's actually, how do I delete this test case? Yeah, uh, how do I delete the test case? Is that like a, oh, there we go. All right, let's run it real quick for you know small answers small answers seems okay well this one i guess is just by by standard this one also seems okay maybe we'll try a case that is slightly bigger but still uh you know still should be okay so let's try something like that may not be though but all right is it always too slow anyway my point was just to kind of play around to see whether we're, we're you know because the the first two cases are kind of too simple that you know, you may but it may be wrong and you're still confident about it for whatever reason. But anyway, so yeah. So as I said yesterday, if you were watching yesterday, the idea behind memorization is that if you have a function for every same input, 
you get the same output you can memorize. Of course, the consideration is well, if you the 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 universe, right, the size of the universe is very big, uh, or could be very big. So you have to kind of try to narrow it down. And here, what is the size of the universe? Well, left can be from zero to n, that's you know defined by us, and target can be from zero to target. I mean, I guess maybe I could have renamed it, but you know, I mean, from here t, just target, right? From zero to t, then. Um, yeah, and if you know, and each of these, so yeah, um, total time is just you go to, to time per input times number of inputs, right? And because we have left times target or uh, n times t number of inputs, uh, and ye each input takes O of k time, so total time is just you go to O of n times t times k. And that's basically the idea. And that's only if we memorize, of course. Otherwise, this branches out, right? So yeah, so let's get, and because we have this, let's get, you know, let's get caching, right? Oops. Uh, yeah, it's you go to, uh, so we want left and target. I want to make sure that I get it right. So. Yeah, so we run force times t plus one for da, 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 da. something like this, right? And you do the same before cache. This time I'm to type it out, but yeah. And then now for the memorization part, we just go if if we have the cache, then we return the cache. <coughs> Otherwise, 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 we we do the, the calculation and then we save it afterwards. And that's pretty much it. We can even go back to uh, using the test cases. This looks way faster. Um, I wish there was a thing where you can just add, like, uh, is there a button here? No? Mm -hmm. mm, okay, fine. Uh, I, guess, I guess just reset. UI is a little bit weird. I like the old one a little bit better for multi cases. This is prettier, but but I look at how much scrolling up and down I have to do. But I guess I have to do it on the other one. So let's give it a quick submit. We'll see how that goes. This UI is a little confusing, but cool. 915 day streak. Have I not solved this problem before? Why is it? Um, hmm. That seems like I would have solved this before, just because. Hmm. That's a little bit. Huh, maybe there's a mm, I don't know, not sure why I haven't solved this before. I mean, it seems way, it seems like a problem I've solved before. That's all, or maybe I've solved a very similar one. But yeah, uh, and space is the same idea. Each input takes all of one space, so total space is equal to all of n times t, right? Um, that's pretty much all I have, though. So yeah, um, basically the idea is way brute force and then we just put a cache layer on top. So hopefully that's a Good visualization for you. That's all I have for today. Um, you're doing the contest in two hours. Good luck. And also wish me a good luck, please, in the comments. I'll see you soon. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. Take care and goodbye.